Hello leaders and future leaders. This is retired Sergeant First Class Bites. In this video, we are gonna discuss the top seven most dangerous jobs in the military. Without exception, all military occupational specialties are demanding both physically and mentally, but the jobs on this list are the most respected, ferocious, and life-threatening. Quick plug, I ask for zero recognition for the time I put into this channel. I do what I do for very selfless reasons. This channel is designed to assist new recruits, current service members, and veterans, whether that is through education or entertainment. My only ask is that you like my videos, if they're worthy, and subscribe to the channel. These types of engagements help my channel grow, which ultimately puts my videos in front of more people like yourself, allowing others to become further educated with our military, its occupational specialties, and benefits. The top seven most dangerous jobs in the military. Let's get into this. Number seven, transportation. The military cannot operate without supplies. And for those supplies to be distributed to our troops, motor transport operators must convey these goods under all circumstances. In a combat zone, the enemy understands this and has adjusted their tactics by using roadside bombs on major routes used by vehicle operators. After the bomb is detonated and these operators are vulnerable, the enemy will then ambush the military element. Not only is this a dangerous occupation during deployments, it's also dangerous stateside. Vehicle accidents are one of the leading causes of injury and death in the U.S. Number six, combat engineers. They are the go-to experts on munitions, Clear. mines, and demolitions, as well as having to fulfill all the traditional duties of soldiering. Naturally, this can lead to potentially dangerous situations. Engineers are often tasked to build or fix installations in isolated or vulnerable areas. Construction sites are dangerous enough as it is, but when you start adding in explosives, you can see why combat engineering isn't all Skittles and rainbows. Number five, Navy swimmer. As a a rescue swimmer, you will be part of a tightly knit group dedicated to being the top emergency response unit in the world. In this role, soldiers routinely put the lives of others before their own, applying intense physical and mental training to challenging real world situations where there's often no margin for error. Rescue missions, recovery missions, humanitarian assistance, operational support, Navy swimmers are often called upon to contribute to any of these efforts. Number four, infantry, the queen of battle. I am what my country expects me to be, the best trained soldier in the world. Infantrymen are ground troops that engage with the enemy in close range combat. They operate weapons and equipment to engage and destroy enemy ground forces, foot patrols, raids, firefights. This job is typically considered to be the job in the military that is more physically demanding and psychologically stressful than any other job. Number three, pararescue. When an injured soldier needs saving from a hostile or otherwise unreachable area, it's their duty to bring them home. Pararescue specialists rescue and medically treat down military personnel all over the world. These highly trained experts take part in every aspect of the mission and are skilled parachutists, scuba divers, and rock climbers. And they are even Arctic trained in order to access any environment to save a life when they're called to do so. Number two, EOD, explosive ordnance disposal. One wrong move and your world ends. Trained to detect, disarm, and dispose of explosive threats in the most extreme environments, EOD technicians bravely serve as the military's bomb squad. Assigned to some of the most dangerous missions, they perform tactically harrowing and technically demanding tasks in diverse environments worldwide. Some of the bravest and most intelligent soldiers do what needs to be done to keep others safe and guarantee mission success, no matter the cost. Although the film has a lot of discrepancies, the movie movie Hurt Locker will give you an idea of what it's like to be EOD in a combat zone. Number one, special operations. Delta Force, Special Forces, Army Rangers, Navy SEALs, MARSOC. You have heard their names, but you probably haven't seen them. These elite soldiers perform the most dangerous and complex missions. Most of their activity is top secret and they receive zero recognition for their efforts. They conduct counterterrorism, direct action, national intervention operations, underwater recon, raids, hostage rescue, air assaults, and many other clandestine missions. These extremely versatile groups will stop at nothing to complete their mission, putting their life on the line time and time again to keep we the people and our country safe from enemies foreign and domestic. 
This list was generated through knowledge I've attained from my own personal experiences, research, and talking to other soldiers and veterans. What other military occupational specialty do you think should have made this list? Do you disagree with any of the jobs listed? Comment your thoughts below. If you have not done so already, please like the video and subscribe. That support for the channel goes a long way. Until next time, this is Sergeant First Class Bites. I'm out.